Hello, I'm Michelle Katanak and I've been inspired to put together this video by Leonie Dawson who this morning posted on Facebook about the over-sexualisation of young and vulnerable children. Now I agree with everything that she said and it's quite surprising that so many people actually didn't agree or came back with quite negative comments. Now this is something I am really passionate about because the way I see it, women, we are generally quite fucked up. Now we don't just we're not born fucked up, we're born to absolutely love ourselves and our body, but by the time we're adults, we are screwed. We have so many issues. And I just want you to ask yourself, where do those issues come from? Because I can tell you, it's not the media, it's not school, uh, your friends. Obviously, you, there are outside influences as you grow up, but your model of the world comes directly from your parents. Now, I'm not saying that your parents are assholes. Um, I'm not saying that they've deliberately screwed you up because at the end of the day, there are generational patterns that are handed down. Um, and so if someone has quite a negative model of themselves or the world, they are going to naturally pass that model down to you. So if someone believes that you have to look a certain way to be attractive and beautiful, they are going to subconsciously um, give you those messages as well. So I just want you to say that we as parents are totally responsible for our children's physical and mental health and well-being. I think we try to pass the buck and pass the blame onto so many other people, but it starts with us, okay? If we don't deal with our own shit, the, if we don't deal with how we feel about ourselves, we are unconsciously giving the message to our children that they're not beautiful enough, they're not good enough, they're not enough. Um, just think back to any time in your life as a child where you felt like you just had to keep trying to please people and make other people proud and always, you know, needed validation from other people. Do you want your children to feel like that too? Because that is what's going to happen. Now, I'm not saying that young girls can't dress up in pretty sparkly tutus. I'm not saying that boys can't either because boys love that kind of stuff. And likewise, I'm not saying, you know, girls should be allowed to um, dress up as Batman or Spider-Man if they want to. You know, they should have the freedom to explore and find their own way and also to think for themselves. Um, so every time you look in the mirror and you're criticising yourself, whether you're calling yourself fat or talking about going on a diet or needing to lose weight, your children are observing those behaviours. You may not think they're paying any attention, but children's brains are like sponges. They're amazing. They absorb everything around them. Um, and even unconsciously, if you're, it's kind of the non-verbal stuff as well. If you're standing there constantly pinching your bum, the fat on your belly, on your arms, you're telling your, your children that they're not enough. Because if you think you're not enough, and they're basically your children, that's given them an, a subconscious message that they're not enough. Now, if people are watching this thinking that I'm talking a load of bullshit, um, then I would like you to stand in front of a mirror and I want you to think about all the things that you've ever said to yourself. Um, whether it's that you want longer hair, a smaller nose, bigger boobs, longer legs, whatever it is, I bet you've stood there hundreds of times self-critiquing your body and I want you to ask yourself, where has that feeling of lack of confidence, um, lack of self-worth come from? Okay, you can't blame the media, it comes from your parents. Okay, so it's time we took notice and took bloody responsibility and sorted ourselves out so that we don't raise kids with issues. Now this is going to cause quite a reaction in some people because there is a lot of truth in what I'm saying. Um, I'm not saying that any of us are bad parents because we are trying to do our best and a lot of us have programming within us that we're quite unconsciously aware of but I really want us all to start raising our conscious awareness so that we can raise happier more confident children I want our children to know that they're perfect just the way they are they don't need to wear makeup or pretty dresses yeah do those things for fun because they should be fun but not to make them more beautiful um, that's all I have to say um, by all means comment below and you know come back with some massive backlash I don't really give a shit because I am very passionate about this and um, if you actually care about your kids then you would be passionate about it too. Thanks, bye.